I'm Ken Zellin with Macintosh, and I'm very excited to tell you all about our MHT300 home theater receiver. The MHT300 is extremely powerful, and you can't really tell how much more powerful than other home theater receivers just by looking at the specifications. Let's talk about power. The MHT300 outputs 120 watts per channel into each of its seven channels into 8-ohm loudspeakers. Now, that's a very different power rating than most other home theater receivers, which are typically rated with only two or possibly three loudspeakers connected. Of course, who buys a home theater receiver and only connects three loudspeakers? Moreover, its power rating is for all seven channels across the entire audible sound spectrum with vanishingly low distortion. Now, most speakers today are actually 4 ohms in impedance, and into 4 ohms, the MHT300's power goes up to 150 watts per channel. And again, that's with all 7 channels operating simultaneously. It gets even better. The MHT300 boasts 4 decibels of dynamic headroom. That means that its peak power into 4 ohms is 330 watts per channel. That's enough power for any speaker you'd ever want to connect to it. Video-wise, the MHT300 has four HDMI video inputs, and they're 8K compatible. That's enough to take you well into the future of video. The MHT300 will satisfy the fussiest of audio files with 32-bit audio processing, that is top-flight digital-to-analog conversion, built right in. One of the most important features in this receiver is its room correction. It incorporates DRAC. DRAC uses a microphone that comes with each receiver, and a full-size mic stand comes in the box also. And we measure your room acoustics. We can take into account several things the characteristics of your loudspeakers, the placement of each speaker in the room, and the acoustic environment itself. Dirac voices the system for your room. One of the best features of this receiver is its vast expansion capabilities. This is a receiver that can grow with your needs. Let's take a look at the back panel and see what I'm talking about. The MHT300 has Dolby Atmos processing built in. There's seven channels of amplification for up to seven speakers on the main floor, outputs for two subwoofers, and preamp outputs so you can add outboard amplification to power two or four height speakers for three-dimensional sound. Now let's talk about the expandability of the MHT300. For each of the seven channels built in, we have a jumper that we can remove. This gives us access to the amplifier that would normally be associated with a certain speaker. So, let's say you bought a pair of extremely power-hungry speakers in the future. You could add a larger power amplifier for your left and right front channels onto the receiver. Now we can use the channels that were built in that used to power our left and right front speakers to power perhaps two ceiling speakers for three-dimensional sound. By having a preamp output and amplifier input for each channel, this receiver can grow with your needs. Now let's look at the other features on the back panel of the MHT300. An FM tuner is built in, and here we have a connector for your FM antenna. We have the HDMI inputs that are all 8K capable. We have four digital inputs for audio. Two of them are coaxial and two of them are optical. And lastly, and very important, the network connection. You want to connect the MHT300 to your home network. That's important for proper operation and setup of Dirac, for future upgrades to the firmware of the receiver, And the setup menu on this receiver is not done on your TV screen. It's done on your laptop, connected to the same home network as the receiver. If you haven't used network setup on a home theater receiver before, 
it is vastly easier than using on-screen menus. The design brief for the MHT300 called for top-level audio quality, state-of-the-art video switching, and monumental power, all built into one compact, easy-to-use chassis. The Macintosh engineers have achieved exactly what we asked for.